Oh, so there's my flat. There's my overhead. There is my uphill. And there is my horizontal. Hello, welcome to Get Weld Soon. So I had a comment asking about lap joint welds in all positions. The guy wanted me to do quarter inch plate, which I got here, quarter inch plate in all positions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay it down, do a flat, stand it up and do a horizontal and a vertical and then an overhead. I'll be running 7018, 332 at about 90 amps. I know I shouldn't have to tell you guys, but uh, safety first, put your glasses on. Here's a shot to show you my rod angle. Uh, about a 45 degree angle into that joint uh, in a dragging position. Now here's a shot of the actual weld. I fire up and back drag, of course, to where I want to start. And then I start weaving a little bit back and forth. You want to just go slow and let that let that joint fill up really nice. Uh, fill it up all the way, all the way to the uh, corner of the plate uh, to get a full fillet weld. You notice as I get to this corner, uh, I go past it just a little bit. So when I fire up on the next run, I can just fire straight up and take off. I don't have to round the corner on the next bead. All right, so that was a flat. Turned out pretty decent. So you want to get it. So you want to get it all the way up to that top edge there. That's a, to be a full fillet weld. Now we're gonna do overhead from right to left. Again, here's a shot just to show you my rod angle on overhead. Again, it's about a 45 degree angle into the joint and leaning in the direction I'm going just a little bit, dragging, dragging position. As usual, I fire up and back drag to where I want to start, and then I tie in, try to, try to tie in quickly and get going on overhead for sure, because that slag will get in front of you and uh, cause you problems. Bring that puddle all the way to the edge, all the way to the corner of the plate. And again, just go a little bit past that corner. That way it's easy to fire up and take off with the next stringer. Now I'm gonna do my uphill. Um, when you're going uphill 7018, always angle your rod upward. Uh, I noticed uh, some people don't realize that. But uh, always angle your rod up a little bit. Keep a tie arc. Now this was, uh, I was a little bit hot uh, I probably should have turned my machine down just a little bit here, but uh, anyway, I just went on with it. Uh, if you're running pretty hot, you definitely got to keep a really tight arc because it'll it'll want to fall out on you. But uh, anyway, same thing. Just uh, make sure that puddle goes all the way to the edge of your plate so it's nice and full. So here's my last stringer here, um, doing the horizontal. So you fire up, back drag, tie in real quick and take off. Uh, just go nice and slow and let that puddle fill up. Now notice my rod angle is not quite up on a 45. It's laid down a little bit. Uh, you wanna do that to get that puddle to wash up on that plate. All right, so there's my flat, there's my overhead, there is my uphill, and there is my horizontal. Not too awful. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.